All right, what's going on everybody? It's the next day. Uh, your boy did not sleep very well last night, but just got done watching the M5 39 Restoration's new video with the B7 Alpina. Cannot believe it, you got an E65 Alpina for four grand. And it's, you know, supercharged, 500 horsepower. But anyways, enough of that. If you don't know who he is, you definitely gotta go check him out. So as you saw, it ran last night. You know, after I heard it run, I was like, spent most of the day sweating my, you know, sweating hard as can be. And I was like, no, I'm going inside for the night. Thankfully, XQC was playing GTA RP. Man, can't get enough of that. It's so entertaining. But today, I want to get it running and let it idle. You can see there's no cooling system, there is a fan, and it feels strong, so I know I can let it run for a little bit. I might even let it maybe creep forward and backwards, but I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling once I get in the car and hear it run. It's so last night when I let it kind of go, it just started shooting up the revs. That's because I didn't have the idle air control valve hooked up, so it was a massive vacuum leak under the manifold. But before I picked up the camera this morning, I went ahead and threw that together. So it should idle. I can't think of any reason why not. That'll also let me know if there's any fuel leaks since the whole fuel system was apart. But enough talking, let's get to it. All right. Shout out to the homies at Denver Beer and Oil. Colorado for hooking it up on the M50 manifold gave me a steal of a price and they threw in a couple of these dope shirts if you guys want one you can join their patreon they send them out every couple months really clean also some stickers in here let's check these out oh yeah that's what's up. These are definitely going on. This car right here. cleaned up the manifold I might put some black polish and finish cleaning it up more but I want to get the car running first you know I do have my powder coating set up so uh, actually this is plastic I'm pretty sure so and eh, we'll figure that out later but I have all the fuel injectors in that's a pain in the ass there's two clips you can see the one like right uh, I can't do it without the camera messing up. So I'm um, hopefully you can see the silver and then the black rusted looking one. Yep, that's a tight squeeze, but they're on. So I just need to tighten up the in and return lines, throw the manifold on, start plugging stuff up, and uh, throw all new vacuum lines on. Alright, so it's a lot later in the day. You can see it's nighttime out there, it's storming. It's pretty peaceful out here. As I showed in the last clip, I had the whole fuel system back together. Uh, I've got, you can't really see, I don't know why. It's so zoomed in. I'm still getting used to this new phone. I picked up a S21 Ultra, but I don't know. I've still got, I think, like three weeks and I'm able to return it, so we'll see. But. Yeah, as you can see, everything is pretty much hooked back together. Um, yeah, coils are back. Everything's good, so I think uh, it's time to try and start it. Oh, well, yeah, looks like it's time to try and attempt a first start. So, we'll go ahead and plug the battery back in. OK. 
car? <laughs> There's no seat in here. Um, let's just see what happens. Oh, fuck. Alright. It's in neutral. Neutralis. Alright, okay. Double check it's in neutral. Let's see what happens. a little weak crank. I know the battery's charged. It started. Let's go. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to let it, you know, actually run. I know there's some major vacuum leaks because I've got the idle air control valve unplugged and that's a massive vacuum leak, but that sound of, uh, I don't know, it kind of sounded like it did have low compression. So once I do get it running, I'll do a compression test and just cross my fingers. But so far, that's a, that's a good sign. Now, I'm wondering if it's just not getting enough fuel. But the fact that it did start at all tells me it is getting some fuel. So, yeah, I guess we'll investigate a little bit and kind of go from there should be good but the next problem is in the state of florida a new license plate not a transfer is four hundred and like twenty something dollars i've already got three cars registered and insured so it's not really logical to have a fourth but then that leads me to the problem where the code enforcement was on me because this car was sitting there unregistered it's, yeah so gotta figure that one out so it's looking like you know I do have well I don't have to but it'd be a good idea to sell something so stay tuned uh, maybe throw in a time lapse of me throwing this manifold on finishing the interior and putting the new seats in